Right, sweetie? Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. Man, that cost me hundreds of dollars not winning that game. Thousands. Not really, but... You know. All right, the more you donate, the more money I have. Yay, thanks, sweetie. Now I'm going to win. Ah, uh, that was dumb. Man, 3-0, and confident. And then I, you know, I didn't really blunder, blunder. I just got outplayed that game. But yeah, H6 was really stupid. It weakens G6. Me wanting to play G5 is dumb. Me playing B5 and F5 and blocking it all up and making it so I have one move that wins is dumb. Jesus. All right, let's play E5 again. And then I could play d6, or I could take, let's see, I don't know. Perilous Time was winning when he did this. So let's do this. Bishop e2, a new move. So I could check and play bishop a5. Hmm. Mm hmm. Play bishop e6. I don't know. D six. It's out of its opening book or something. Man, I lost up a piece. Boo. So it's like I'm playing you guys. All right, let's finish the match on a high note. No. <clears throat> Wasn't too high. Uh I don't know, here, something. Never play F3. And didn't play F3. There you go. You know those fianchettos that are like double fianchettos? Still theory.
Yeah, Bishop A4 could be annoying. Not sure how, but it could be. All right, maybe I'll go here and C5 and come back to D4 since he doesn't have a knight. That could be a good way of playing. Can't hurt. Maybe the engine won't see that. I'm crushing it. Bam. It's like, oh, H3. Oh, I thought he was going to G4. Yeah, I like C5 and then putting my knight on D4. That seems nice. Weaken this a lot, that's good. And let's see, bishop a6, b3, d5, being the computer tactically. All right, let's just go here. Play knight c6 to d4. Like I said I was going to do. Yay, it sounds like money. It sounds like happy. All right, go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Don't play Bishop H4. Don't do it. I don't want to be pinned. I wonder if it can hear me. You think Komodo's stream sniping? Also, what is that? <clears throat> Let's see, knight g4, bishop goes to c1. Seems pretty good for the engine. All right. We must continue our plan. Probably get attacked by h pawn and my d pawn and win them. No! Don't do that. Although, we'll do that. Oh, f3. Never play f3. All right, let's see. Let's defend this. Uh... See, do I care about that? Eh, no. That's the first time it's not all blocked up and I can't do anything. <clears throat> when it's open, though, then I get you know, crushed. Tough decision. This should be one, son. Black hole, son, won't you come? Probably should play a6, so he doesn't play knight b5 ever. I guess, uh, maybe not. Eh, uh, eh, all right. As long as he can't do anything, I should be okay. As long as I have more than 10 minutes. Once I have less than five minutes, I could just resign. the point. I wonder if you can ever play F4. Or if I care. I mean, I have to go here. <laughs> I can't possibly care. Gonna stop caring. He has the two bishops. Oh, wait, so do I. Hooray.
Will he play bishop a2 if I play knight a5? Or he'll just play like f5 and ignore it. Probably play f5 and ignore it. That's what I would do. On the other hand, f5 really weakens e5. Jesus. I don't know. I'm curious. I want to play it to see if he plays bishop a2. I don't really believe in his quote-unquote attack, close quote. All right, I want to see. I want to see if it goes here. I actually don't know. I don't think it will, because it's too stupid. <laughs> okay, good. It's going to checkmate me instead. Yeah, that is a good plan. All right, so my move was dumb. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Let's get some counterplay. I hate getting counterplay, but it's better than losing on time. Pause. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, oh, knight b3 takes with a rook. Right, knight takes, queen takes, bishop e4. And then what's, I don't understand what the material is. I'm up the exchange and a pawn. And I've gotten rid of all of his play. Eh. Oh, I should do that, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. Didn't even see that. Not that I care, but I like to see it. Um, let's see. Take with this knight. I can play c4, which I like a lot. My knight steps bishop c4, which I like a lot. But my knights are stupid. <clears throat> On the other hand, could do it anyway.
Should play slower, but I can't. As slow as I can play. I never thinks more than two seconds. I didn't hang a queen. I always sack the exchange. But will he take it?
<sighs> Played better in the first three games. My pieces are good. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Truth hurts. At least a lot of material. Yeah. All right, now I'm with the exchange and two pawns. I mean. I have two knights and two pawns for a rook, but my king is getting crushed. But his bishop sucks. <sighs> Thanks for the noise. Bring in Defunk. Oh, yeah, I can see that. That is a good idea. Oh, I didn't see that. <clears throat> wow, well, I finished with a whimper.
<sighs> I thought I was just lost after Rook F6, um, but I guess I wasn't. And then I, I'm probably winning here. I thought about playing Queen C1 at the end, but I figure I would just mess up in time trouble. I like the queen here because he can't play queen a7, queen b7, queen c7. So I like that. Yeah, I thought after rook f6, it was 100% I was going to lose. I would have bet a lot of money I was going to lose after rook f6. This move I actually want to analyze with an engine. Um, if I knew how. Analysis board. No. Let's see. No, that's not what I want to do. Uh... Hey, it says I'm winning in the front in the starting position. Okay. Rook b6 is the best move. It says bishop e5 and rook e5, but I, I, bishop e5 I was worried because I'm opening up the seventh rank. Like for this, you know, when he plays takes and rook here. That's why I played rook e5. Bishop e5 is plus four. Also, I didn't like bishop e5 because of rook here and this pawn's weak. So I thought giving him this check and giving him this was bad. Okay, rook e5 is like barely winning. So that's not good. Right, these moves are all good. That's good. Knight d2? I didn't see knight d2. Okay, my move's better. All right. I play king g7. That's the best move. And then I play queen d8. That's the best move. Queen h8. Oh, okay, I just played the best moves. So he had to do this. All right. I just played well when he was mating me. Yeah, I mean, here, I wasn't too happy. Okay, so I'm not really winning. If I play queen e8, which was my original intention, but then I liked rook e8 better because I was threatening queen a1 mate, so I like that better. Uh, after queen e8, it's super complicated, but I'm better, like 1.5. The variation that's th this engine is takes... Takes here, threatening queen c7 mate. Knight c6, queen b6 check. King here doesn't defend the knight, so I have to go here. Rook c6, rook e4. And black's better because I'm two pawns up. There's no way I would beat the engine in this position ever. Never. I might lose, but I wouldn't win. If two engines are playing, maybe black wins. But I would never win, ever. Never. If I have five hours on my clock, I wouldn't win. Rook e8 is a draw. Check is a draw. Queen d4 is a draw and queen b2. Oh, by the way, if I play king e7, he plays queen check and queen f7 and some mate here, I guess. Yeah, there's probably a quicker mate. I don't know. No, that's the mate. Oh, queen takes rook mate is annoying. If I play this blunder, I thought this was mate. Is this mate? Yeah. And then this is also mate, and this is mate. This is the best mate. And queen f5 is mate. So obviously I play king b7, but it, you know, I want to give the old college try. You know. Check, rook e7. I, if I play here, I get mated. Rook c7 mate, and here I get mated. So this is forced. And that's why I, I wanted to play queen d4, because he couldn't check me. Rook takes e7 as a perpetual? What? If he plays rook takes king take, he can perpetual me? Wow. That's really hard to believe, but I believe the engine. Wow. All right. And then... Yeah, it just says it's all zeros. I can't win. Yeah, I thought about playing queen c1 here and playing for the win. Let's see how that loses. Queen c3 draws. Queen e3. Yeah, let me see if this loses. That was the move I was thinking of. No, that draws too. 
He just perpetuals me. Yeah. But I, 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 don't know, I figured like, you know, this, this is a good score for my queen because he can't check me anywhere. Wow, so like this part of the game was played well. That's weird. I thought I just blundered. Like even in this position, it says Rook takes B6 is best, I think. Does it change its mind? No. And then rookie five is good, but this is better. But this is okay. And then according to the engine, this engine, I played great. G5 is best. Bishop F6 is best. Queen takes is best. Queen, King G7 is best. Queen D8 is best. Queen H8 is best. And then I just played perfect. I just thought I wondered I'm going to lose. But instead I played perfectly. So that begs the question, like, when did I let most of my advantage go? Here I'm plus five. Oh my God, this is so dumb. I should play bishop c6, b5. Of course. I was like interested in going there, but that's idiotic. I should play here and then play here. That's the right plan. All right, and that was dumb. It doesn't matter, I'm plus a thousand. <clears throat> okay, f4, knight a5 is best. Rookie three, it wants me to take that pawn. And I played b5 because I was worried I would get mated. So I wanted to get counterplay. Yeah, it just says take the pawn and go back to d4 and whatever. And there's no attack. Yeah, see, this is funny. I thought I was trading pieces, but my knight on d4 is a really good defense. Okay, I'm still completely winning. Knight here is the engine move. I almost played that. I thought about that, and then I thought this was really good, which the engine says is really good. Okay, that's not a, that's not the best way to play. I should play knight here to get my knight back in the game and control e5 and knight b4. Yeah, this makes sense. Yeah, because I want to play here because then his bishop can't stay on the diagonal and also defend his knight. Like he 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 wants his bishop here so that he can do stuff to me evil stuff but yeah i should play knight this knight's stupid so i should go here i just wanted to play c4 and then you know distract him i'm still winning obviously and frankly but this is like tough to win now this should be five is winning or c4 i mean and yeah, this is still winning too i almost moved my king it says king h8 now it's saying queen e7 what did I do this? And he played b6. Huh. Yeah, likes for takes b6. Yeah, so this is where I started messing up. Up until here, I'm plus 3, 4, 5. Like, the whole game. And then if I want to be plus 3.4, I have to go here. And I didn't want to weaken this pawn and weaken the 7th rank. That's why I played my rook here. That way my bishop is defending this and I'm stopping all kinds of checks. And, you know, I don't care if he ever takes my rook. It just gets less pieces for him. You know, the second best move I actually considered. None of you considered it, but I did. Knight a1. I did see knight a1. And then it says bishop here, but I thought he played bishop here. I guess I could play c3, c2 then and get rid of his bishop. I didn't see that. Yeah, I saw this, bishop b1, and I'm like, all right, that's dumb. But actually, if I can go here and here, it's not so dumb. That's funny. This is the second best move, or third best. Actually, my move is just as good or better. Well, here I didn't do anything wrong, and I didn't win, but it says I'm plus two. Okay, the line that it likes, I'm never, ever, ever going to play. King here, pawn takes, rook b7. That's never going to happen. Yeah, or rook b7 takes king here. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I wouldn't do it now. If I had this position now and I was reading the engine line, I wouldn't do it. That's totally crazy. Yeah, this is the only non-crazy move. And this is a great move, f6. Bishop h8, I'm not doing that. Knight d2, I didn't see it. But I'm not doing it. I teach just crazy. 
Yeah, this is the scene move. Yeah, it would take an engine to win after Queen G4, but somehow I didn't lose. That's that's the most shocking thing of the match is when he played this, I wasn't losing. I was 100% sure I was losing. Because this don't look good. Yeah, and this is what I saw, and I was like, I'll play Queen E8, and he'll mate me somehow. But Queen E8 is actually okay. I was very worried he'd play Rook F7, and then you know my pieces are hanging. See, the problem is, if he takes this, and I take with the knight, I'm not defending squares. If I take with the pawn, my knight's hanging. My rook defends it, but if he plays like rook here and I block, then my knight's hanging. So I just thought, like, this is, like, maybe this is okay. But I was really happy to play this because I wanted to play that. And I wanted to play that. And at first I thought he was mating me, and then I realized my knight's defending this. I thought he was going to go check, king here, check, king here, check, and then mate me. But then I realized he can't play queen b7 check because my knight's here. And I'm threatening mate. So, well, it's not mate, you can play queen g1, but you get the idea. So, yeah, somehow I'm drawing now. Yeah. I'm really impressed I drew after rook takes f6. That's the greatest feat of my life. Except, you know, Karen's feet. Those are nice. Yeah. No, I'm pretty happy that, like, g5, king g7, queen d8, queen h8 was all fine. Because after rook f6, I was like, oh, well. If rook f6 is played, then I'm losing. But it was just drawing. So that was cool. All right, 4-2, just like Perlstein, and Perlstein's better than me. Thanks to uh, Komodo for sponsoring this event. And Larry Kaufman, if you type exclaim Komodo, you can do stuff and uh, buy stuff and look at their, get stuff for free. Um, and probably, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I should have a, a, a stream that analyzes each game because, you know, games are silly. I'm up a piece and then I'm trying not to blunder. That's, that's the analysis of every game. And yeah, this game got too exciting. Yeah, I didn't, I, the first three games I sort of kept it under control, and the last three I did not. Didn't keep it under control. Uh, truth hurts. Anyway, you know, it was an exciting match. You know, it, it, I mean, I won pretty early, but then, you know, not good. Yay, his ha. Go, go Shogi, or something. No. Yeah, that too. Ah. Uh, Let's see, who am 